Hey guys, Mortal Jam here with uh, another video to say I'm back. And I kind of just wanted to do a quick room tour, but I also wanted to do a review because I just finished building this bad boy as kind of a gift for myself because uh, it happens to be my birthday today. So I decided, you know what? I had a 20th anniversary set. Why not build it? Especially since it is one of my all time favorite sets. Now, before I start right into it, I'm just going to apologize for the background noise. The pellet stove is running because it is winter outside. It's hard to see because it's bright. Um, so I apologize for any background noise, but I will get right into it. So this is uh, the 20th anniversary Clone Scout Walker. And it is just beautiful absolutely love this set and it's got some extras in it which is not something that lego does too often with walkers they normally do them in battle packs they normally don't have anything extra i think the only one other than this one that i can remember doing extra is the 501st walker which i have tucked away back here i think it came with a droidica if i remember correctly or a sniper droidica anyways the walker itself is absolutely gorgeous i love it the entire time i was building this set i just like was reminiscing over all the other clone walkers i've built it is just fantastically built extremely detailed compared to the older ones the only thing i gotta say i don't like is there's no weapon holder on the back all the other ones, as far as I can remember, had some sort of weapon holder on the back. But this one does not, so his weapon has to sit elsewhere. But the walker is just, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'll grab another one real quick for comparison. She's a wee bit dusty. But this is the 501st walker that came out, oh, I don't even know how long ago, quite, quite some time ago. But uh, they're pretty much roughly the same height other than the antenna. They're both uh, all stickers, if I can remember correctly. There's no printed plates on either of these. But yeah, that's, that's a height comparison. For that. Yeah, I just, I love this set. I was debating not building it since it was a 20th anniversary set and I wasn't sure if I wanted to build any of them yet, but like, I was like, eh, screw it. It's the birthday. I got nothing else going on. I might as well build a set I'm really gonna enjoy building. And I gotta say, I enjoyed the build. It's uh, really sturdy compared to some of the other ones as well. I, uh, I really enjoyed building it. And it comes with this neat little uh, fortification from Kashyyyk with a Wookiee to go along with it, which is just the standard newer style Wookiee warrior. And then, of course, you got the, the little spider droid, the um, droid dogs, as I like to call them, because uh, they're the only really animal-like droids that I can remember, other than the giant spider droid, of course. And then, of course, you get a standard battle droid. And with this set, same with all the 20th anniversary sets, you get an exclusive 20-year anniversary minifigure, which this set is Darth Vader. And it is uh, literally an exact copy, if it'll focus here, of the original Darth Vader. If I can get enough light on it. It's got the old-school chest piece, the old-school head. The old school helmet as well, which I think I have another Darth Vader somewhere, but of course I don't know where it is, so I'll forget about that. I was going to compare the two, but I'm not going to make you wait while I search for the other one because it's probably in a bin somewhere. I mean, I probably have 10 of them, but they're also all in the bin somewhere. But yeah, that is uh, my quick little review of the Clone Scout Walker. And I know it came out quite a few years ago, but if you ever have a chance to pick up this set and you don't already own it, I highly recommend it. It is a beautiful set. 
really nice. Uh, probably one of my favorite walkers that's ever come out. Like I really like the 501st one. It's also really well done. But this one's definitely in my top two or three. And uh, I'll have to get a wider stand because as you can see, I got all the other walkers I own at the back there. So I'll have to uh, make a wider stand so I can fit him in somewhere. But on from the review, as you can see, I actually redid the Lego room somewhat. A couple of the shelves, they are pretty close to the exact same. I've moved some stuff around, but the main change is this. If the light outside would screw off. I got two new shelving units and reorganized a bunch of it, cleaned some of the dust off a bunch of it. Got my helmets up there and those are all uh, home built other than two. I got my uh, scout trooper, which happens to be the same scout trooper sitting right there. I got that from a buddy of mine I went to high school with and needs some repair, but it's a pretty nice helmet. Same with this one, also my buddy made. And this one, a buddy of mine made. All three of them were made by my buddy Casey Savory, so shout out to him because they are really well done. Uh, they were all made with, um, uh, what do you call it, fiberglass and Bondo and paper mache. And then of course you got the Captain Rex, which is a store bought, and the Boba Fett, which is a store bought. Those I actually got given to me as well. This one was given to me, I think for a birthday present a few years ago from my buddy Isaiah. And this one, if I remember correctly, was a birthday present like whew, nine years ago or ten years ago from my buddy Kane. And this one is a soon to be built, going to be somewhat of a copy of this one because I'm hoping to join the Mandalorian Mercs one day. So that's my helmet whenever I get around to that. That's only been going on for six or seven or nine or ten years. I'm lazy. I'm slow at doing stuff. I'm not good at projects. It took me like... 10 years to decide to change up the Lego room. Like there was an ugly table here, if anyone remembers. It took up this whole area. It was made out of a door and table legs and it was just, it was horrible. So I finally got rid of that. Uh, and with these shelves, I've kind of got my original trilogy area here. I got the Falcon, the uh, Imperial Shuttle Tiderium, and Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, which I just, absolutely love all three of those sets and then the rest of the shelves aren't really 100 percent organized i got my mini naboo starfighter and my bigger naboo starfighter can't remember the name of this ship but it is a bounty hunter ship i know that and this bad boy is jack 14s i believe from one of the lego shows the lego series that star wars did and then down here uh, this is an Imperial something or other, some type of interceptor from the Old Republic. Uh, really love this set. Really enjoyed building it. I got my Imperial V-Wing. A couple Jedi Starfighters. I think C-10s and Mace Windus. My police gunship, which I absolutely love this set. I had to buy it second hand to get it because I never got it when it originally came out. I got my old school... Emperor Palpatine shuttle sitting there. This is kind of my clone army, which now I've got to add to, but uh, it's kind of just a basic Commander Wolf, couple Wolf Pack troopers, new and old, some pilots, a whole bunch of gunners, some, um, I can't remember the ranks of these two. I know there's a blue one as well that I don't think I have, but I know there's like a sergeant, a captain, and I don't know what the other one would be. But anyways, these are kind of just some personal squads. And then, of course, I got the 501st, the 212th, and the 30, 41st. Yeah, 41st. So, yeah, 41st is the green, 212th is the orange, and, of course, everyone knows the 501st is the blue. And then I got all my walkers, the old school battle pack which i used to have five of i loved that set uh this is a custom walker of mine and then i've got a little kashik walker a little geonosis walker 501st walker there i've got more on another shelf 
And then these are all just miscellaneous battle packs I haven't figured out what I'm doing with yet. Probably won't stay here for long once I build up some other sets because I got two AT-ATs to build, which um, are 40, 40th anniversary for the Empire Strikes Back. So I got two of them. Don't ask why I bought two. That's an embarrassing story. It was a mishap. Uh, and I got two of the Mandalorian Forge left to build. One of the Han Solo sets left to build. And the old school, well, not old school, uh, Rebel Combat Frigate, or Frigate. Um, that's from Star Wars Rebels series. And then I got a whole bag of uh, 40th anniversary, or no, 20th anniversary sets to go along with this one. I think I'm only missing one out of all the 20th anniversary sets. So I got all those to build, so I've got uh, a lot of shelf space that's gonna be used up here. So a lot of these sets won't be here when I finally get all them built. Like all these battle packs will be gone. A lot of these speeders will probably pay packed away because this entire shelf is all just speeders. Uh, you know you have too many speeders when an entire shelf is dedicated to just speeders. But I like speeders, nonetheless, especially the little bark speeders. I love that set. And I just got some custom stuff on here. This is just a little Kashyyyk treehouse and turret. Custom A-wing when I was too cheap to buy one, which I still haven't got one. I should. That's a custom, or I can't say custom. This is kind of designed off the original Swamp Skimmer, or Swamp Speeder from... Empire Strikes Back, maybe? From from the Battle of Kashyyyk, actually. So not the Empire Strikes Back. Revenge of the Sith, sorry. Blonde moment. It's a copy of that. And then this is uh, a little speeder that I think I got the design off of someone else on YouTube. So I can't remember exactly who designed it, but whoever they were, shout out to them. Um, I, I won't take credit for this because this is not my own design. I just really enjoyed it, really liked it. So I made one. And then I've got two custom ships I had made when I was younger. One just being a totally armored out uh, transport ship. And one being a kind of weird design for a starfighter, I thought at the time. Wasn't sure what I was really doing with that. I'm just going to move some boxes here. And then I've got all Tatooine sets down here. And when I say all, I don't mean all that I've ever made. I mean all that I own as far as I can remember. So like Luke Speeder, the uh, Dubak, the old Mos Eisley Cantina, not the updated one. I should get the updated one because it looks beautiful. I got my little um, escape pod there that R2-D2 and 3PO escaped in. My little um, sand speeder uh, from... Jabba's uh, Sarlacc pit. Whenever he goes to the Sarlacc pit, that's one of the Jabba's uh, speeders he takes. And then I've got my Rancor cage back there with the Rancor. And then I actually do have one more Tatooine set that is way up here, top shelf, because it's one of my favorites, but it is uh, Jabba's sail barge. And then back down here, I got some other custom stuff that I messed around with when I was a kid. I just didn't really have the heart to take them apart. And Han Solo and Carbonite. That is from one of the newer three movies. Same with that one. I know this one is Luke's home. Uh, can't remember the name of the planet right now, but it's the one with the Porgs or whatever they're called. Uh, this is from the Salt Planet, but I can't remember the name of that planet right now. And then this is the Death Star playset for the Emperor Palpatine fight scene. These are kind of just all playsets I got down here. I'm not a huge fan of playsets. I like some of them though. Like I really like the Death Star one and the Carbonite one. I'm not a huge fan of the newer movies. Like they're all right. They didn't quite hit home the same way the originals did though. Um, but I do still enjoy watching them from time to time. And then over here, this is my favorite section. So I'll maybe move my stack of swords and open this up so you can get a better look at it. So this is actually, my grandfather gave me this um, showcase. It used to have all of his die cast cars in it. So I got all of my favorite sets 
basically right here in this showcase. So my first Ultimate Collector Series set ever is, of course, Boba Fett Slave 1. I absolutely love this set. It took like five and a half hours to build. It's easily one of my longest builds. Uh, of course, when I get to the Millennium Falcon Ultimate Collector Series, that's definitely going to take the cake for longest. This will still always be one of my favorite sets I've ever built. And then I've got the Mandalorian Starfighter, the original one, which also I have all my little Mandalorians, which I love Mandalorians, so I did some custom ones. But, uh, yeah, I just love Mandalorians. So I've actually got two more Mandalorian Starfighters, the new version, on order. They just got back in stock today, so I ordered them first thing this morning. So that was another birthday present to myself. Wake up on my birthday thinking, you know, I really want to get that set, but it is out of stock. Checks my email, it's back in stock! And so I got two on order, which I couldn't be happier about. And I even built a little stand for it, so it kind of looks like it's flying, because I just I love this set so much. And then I've got the TIE Defender, which this is actually a set my mum got for me. It was either for my birthday or for Christmas, and it was like when I was probably 12 years old, maybe 13, like end of public school, beginning of high school, like, I absolutely love this set, I love the design of it, I hope they make a new one, because it was pretty popular in Star Wars Rebels, which there's Thrawn right there, uh, so I really hope they make a new one, if they do, I'll get probably two of it to put in each corner behind this one, kind of have a squadron of them, and I got the old, uh, Hyena Droid Bomber, which, I'll be honest, this one isn't specifically one of my favorite sets, but if you take it out, it just kind of looks bare with just the uh, Obi-Wan Starfighter and hyperspace ring. So I like to leave it in just to fill some space because I was out of space for a long time. But I really do enjoy the Obi-Wan Starfighter and hyperspace ring. It's the only hyperspace ring set I've got, which I think they only did two. But I really enjoyed it. One of my favorite sets as well. So let's close this back up here. And move these swords out of the way so that I can get a better look at the sets on the bottom shelf here. So on to the next shelf. This is, well, originally it was designed to all be bad guy stuff. Uh, separatist and Imperial, but that kind of changed halfway along the way because I was out of room. So, of course, I got like the old Darth Maul um, Sith interceptor i believe it was called it's very dusty it's one of my oldest sets same with the general grievous starfighter which as you can see was taken apart at one point in time and when i put it back together i didn't have the right parts so it's kind of off colored and i got the giant um spider droid there this right here as you can see it has also been taken apart it is not all the right colors it's supposed to be this is the first lego star wars set i ever bought also one of my all-time favorites. I absolutely love this set. I've got two of the newer model. I wish I had gotten more because I just I love this set. And I plan one day to do kind of a Kashyyyk mock. Not a huge one. Um, but I'll definitely be using those. Same, I got some... Um, I can never remember what these are called. Uh, Staps. Stap speeders. And I got four of these assault tanks. AAT, so armored assault tanks. And then two of the Clone Wars version of the Armored Assault Tanks, which I really like the Clone Wars version better. It's just so much nicer with the blue and gray than it is with the tan, in my personal opinion. But these ones will also kind of hold a special place in my heart, as you can see, because I have four of them. I love that set. <laughs> and then I got my little Geonosian uh, Starfighter back there, my Tri-Fighter, my Vulture Droid, Grievous's Wheel Bike, my um, droid gunship, those are those other two uh, tank droids I was talking about a second ago. And moving up, this was originally like all Imperial stuff, but as I said, I ran out of room and I moved some stuff around. So I've got a um, speeder or skimmer, I think they're called from the newer movies. Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Uh, this is... Uh, I can't remember what this is called. I know it's a bomber. It's a resistance bomber. That might even be the name. I don't know the exact ship name, though, but it is a really nice set. I did enjoy it. Um, beautifully designed. Uh, I like it a lot. 
And then first order um, carrier there. And then this is a tank from Rogue One. And then Kylo Ren Starfighter there. And then moving up, this is all Imperial except for the police helicopter and the little car. Those are kind of just little special sets that you get for buying a certain amount at certain times of the year. So I've got the um, TIE Interceptor, I'd like to say, but I can't remember for sure. My little Boba Fett. I love my Boba Fett. The Han Solo and Carbonite is the old school one that I made a little base around. And then I got Krennix Shuttle, new TIE Fighter, old TIE Fighter. I think this is Snoke's Star Destroyer, which I just I love Star Destroyers. I want to get the Ultimate Collector Series, but that will probably wait till next year. And then I cannot remember the name of this. I think it's a TIE Striker, but I could be wrong. Also a beautiful set. I just love TIE Fighters. TIE Fighters just have that beautiful, like, wacky design for a spaceship. Like... When you think a spaceship, you don't think of an H very often. Unless you're a Star Wars fan, then you immediately think of an H. Because, like, the TIE Fighter is just classic. It's an amazing ship. Always has been, always will be. And then some more favorites. I got my ATST up there. This is a Little Republic um, something ship. I can't remember. And it came in a book with the little. AAT, uh, Armored Assault Tank. I got that given to me by a co-worker that I used to work with when I worked in Shelburne. Uh, so I got them up on display as a thanks to him. And then I've got Java's Sail Barge, another love of mine. I just absolutely love this set. And then I got the um, Im or not Imperial, uh, First Order ATAT. Um, it's got a specific name, I think, but I can't remember what that name is. This thing just looks like insane. Like, if the normal ATAT -AT is a like a normal dog, this is the guard dog. Like, it just has an insanely sharp look to it. Looks like it's gonna rip your face off if it was a pet. And I just I love that set, so I got it up top as well as my box for my um, slave one. And then I'm going to move these swords again because now I'm tripping over them. So just give me one second. Sorry for the wait. Alrighty. And I got a Republic Frigate as the top of this next shelf. Also one of my favorite sets. I got it used for a little bit more than what it retailed for, but it's just... An amazing set, clean look, I absolutely love it, and it gave me my original Wolf and uh, Wolfpack Trooper, which I love. Wolf is my favorite commander of all time, always has been, always will be. I say that even though when Star Wars first get, got big, like Star Wars Clone Wars when I was a kid, I used to love Cody, but Wolf is my favorite these days. And then I got my little R2-D2, I think he was a May the 4th exclusive. And then my gunship, my only gunship. I do plan on getting the Ultimate Collector Series gunship. It's just, I've spent a lot of money this year on LEGO, so I'm gonna pass till next year. But I also love the gunship, that's why it's up top. Uh, my apologies for my fingers in the screen there. Okay, and on to the next set. I got the Han Solo Movie Millennium Falcon, which, to be honest, is a little too white for me. Cause this pellet stove Kicks out a lot of dust. As you can see, some of my sets are just covered with dust. So this thing will not be white for long. I guarantee that. And then I got a couple Jedi Interceptors, uh, Anakin's and Obi-Wan's. And then Anakin Starfighter, Plo Koon Starfighter, Z-95 Headhunter, and a little speeder with the sidecar, which is a nice little speeder. I actually should put it with my other speeders when I finally reorganize everything, but that's going to take a long time. On to my next shelf. This is all Republic, um, I don't want to say attack vehicles, but all ground transport vehicles. So I got my ATTE, and I believe these are either ATAPs or ATDPs. No, they got to be ATAPs, I'm pretty sure. Or no, ATRT. 
I have been out of it for so long, like I haven't done videos regularly in years that I can't even remember the name of this set. But I really enjoy the set. It is basically an artillery vehicle. I've got two of them. I'm gonna say ATAP, but I could be dead wrong there. So if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments down below. I got three 501st Walkers, three 501st Speeders, which I absolutely love the 501st. So of course I bought three of the Battle Pack when I could. I got a couple of these little uh, clone tanks. I can't remember the name of them right now because once again, I've been out of the scene for too long, but I'm really getting back into it. So I do plan on making a lot more videos. And then I got my turbo tank. I absolutely love the turbo tank. It is like a classic from the uh, episode two and three, mainly three. Um, I just love the turbo tank. It is my favorite set in this entire shelf, I would say, actually. Um, it's just, it's a mean looking vehicle, like five wheels on each side, 10 wheels in total. It is a mean machine. I love it. And then I just got a whole bunch of astromech droids lined up, all the different ones I got. There is probably one or two that aren't there. A couple of Sokas and an Anakin. And then dropping down, this is all Rebels ships. Um, and some Collector's Series stuff like uh, Luke and Han with their medals, Darth Vader with his medal from one of the Lego films, young Han Solo and uh, another Luke, and then just some um, Old Republic guys. I got my B-Wing here, which is by far one of my favorite uh, Rebels ships. I just, I absolutely love the B-Wing because it's a wacky design for a ship, same with the TIE Fighter. I got my little snow speeder and uh, cannon there. I got two Y-Wing bombers because I like the Y-Wing a lot. I originally planned on buying like 10 of these and hanging them from the ceiling as a fleet of them, like a uh, squadron, sorry. Uh, but I'm cheap, so I bought two. And then I got the U-Wing, which I don't mind the U-Wing, but it's kind of just there. It's not my favorite set, to be honest, but I do think it looks neat with the other sets. And then dropping down another level, I got my Wookiee gunship, which is all cockeyed right now because a box has been pushed against it and it is covered with dust, so I should clean that up. I got two of the Phantoms, the old Phantom and the new Phantom, because the old Phantom kind of got destroyed. Uh, I don't have the Ghost yet, but I do want to get it. That's my first medical frigate from Rebels. I've got another one brand new in the box, which i still got to build. Just a couple speeders back in there. Some of them are kind of rebels and some of them are um, battle pack stuff. And then I got the ATTE that Captain Rex, Commander Wolf, and Commando Gregor were using, which it is covered in dust as you can see. So I got to clean it up. And then I just got like some critters and like the old school Han Solo from Hoth and that and like the Wampa. And that pretty much does it for the room tour. As you can see, it's definitely a lot better than it was. I do have to do some cleanup still, because um, as you can see, my table that I normally use for reviews has kind of been covered with a whole lot of junk. I really need to clean it up, uh, but that'll wait because I'm lazy. I will get to it eventually, but problem with cleaning the table is then I have to clean up all the stuff under the table, which is just going to take a lot of time. I've got like a lot of rocks down there. I don't know. A lot of people might not know this, but I'm a fossil hunter and collector. So I've got uh, a lot of fossils and stuff down there, a lot outside as well. But uh, once I do get that cleaned up, I am thinking of doing a mock sometime in the near future. Plus, of course, I am going to be building the Ultimate Collector Series Falcon in the near future. Probably, I'm thinking January or February because I kind of let some friends talk me into letting them help me out. So, that's going to be a thing. I am planning on videoing it and speeding up the video because someone in my channel recommended that to me and I actually really like that idea. So, me and a couple buddies will get together for a weekend. We'll build it. We'll film it. We'll speed up the video. And you can see how many mistakes we make and have to go back and fix because they're not as experienced with Lego 
and this is a big build. So knowing my luck, we're gonna get 10 hours in, do a 40 hour build, make a mistake and not realize till we're 30 hours in and then I'll have to fix it. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. But it'll be nice building it with friends. It's definitely enjoyable building sets with a group. I never did it when I was younger, but I have built a few sets recently with my buddies and even actually this set, uh, the Han Solo Millennium Falcon, I built with the same two friends that want to help me build the Ultimate Collector Series. Now, of course, we did make a mistake, like, early on when we were building something in the interior uh, shaft for the turret there, and it took a lot of taking apart to fix, so I will have to definitely make sure we go slow when we build the big one, so we don't make mistakes, but I guarantee we're going to. So other than that, yeah, I just wanted to show off that I did do something and do a video to say I am back and I'm going to be back. I'm going to continue to do videos uh, as I build more of those sets I've got down there. I will do more reviews like this one, um, except for maybe a little classier, as you can see, with my table covered in junk. I need to use a chair and the Falcon to make a table to do this review. So I will definitely clean up that table in the near future. And something I also want to mention because I uh, had this idea for a while, as I was saying, I'm a fossil hunter and collector. I've got a whole lot of different uh, fossils and rocks and that. Um, a whole showcase full here. I've got about three totes full outside and a table covered outside. So I've been thinking of making a uh, another channel specifically for fossil hunting and I just want to know what you guys think about that I If you think it'd be a good idea to do a little fossil hunting channel and show off some of my collection if it'll focus here That's a little brachiopod generic brachiopod But uh, yeah, I was thinking of making a channel specifically for my fossils And I just wanted to know what you guys thought about that if you thought it'd be a cool idea if you thought it'd be something you'd check out let me know in the comments down below and I will decide from that uh, as to whether I'm going to do that or not. Other than that, I think that's pretty much all for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you don't mind. It is once again on my phone because I'm currently working out what I'm going to do for a camera. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it's my birthday. So what better birthday present? can subscribe to my channel be like really that would be the best birthday present i can think of <laughs> so other than that i think that's all guys so i hope you enjoy the video and have a good one